What up, guys? KCRC Crawler here. Uh, just got a little one nine update for these two trucks. Um, they're coming along. I'm really liking them both still, just as always. Um, start with this one. I got a new body for it since my last video, and uh, really liked it. Problem is, is within the first week of having it, I was out at my spot at the spillway, and I took a bad tumble and took a big chunk out of this. Never had that happen to a body, but, uh, dang. And as you can see, it's already been getting used, it's all scratched up, it's dirty, it's got, yeah, it's got one indention, one big stretch right there, that's pretty bad. There it is. That's the one I was looking for. This is actually a crack. Yeah, there. You can see it. It was pushed in. I popped it back out. It's starting to pop back in again. Um, yeah, I drive my trucks a lot, so. Uh, tires and wheels are sorted out. Um traded a buddy that I work with that's big, getting big into RC. Um, really glad to help him uh, with all the questions he's had. Made a good trade with him not too long ago. Uh, got these tires from him, gave him some flat irons that I cut. He wanted a really aggressive, grippy tire, and I wanted a decent tire that looks really cool. And this tire actually, of all the tires I've tested on this vehicle, I've tested these on it. I've tested these on it, which are the new Proline BFG crawlers. Awesome tire. And these do good on this truck. Uh, these Pipple XL19s do good on the truck. But the problem is, is they almost have like too much grip. And it will cause this truck to tip over or just kind of act a little weird. These tires seem to have just the perfect amount of grip for how much the truck weighs. So when the truck's all bouncing up and down and hopping, it usually doesn't jump itself out of shape as often. It will do it. I mean, it definitely do it. It's got the power to make itself, you know, do wheelies or backflips from a stop almost. Um, I'd say from a full stop, it'll it'll do a good wheelie. If I'm rolling backwards just a little bit and I floor it, it'll flip over backwards. No problem. Um, anyways, it tends to stay in better shape with these tires than those, and I really like it. It gives that, you are Southern Rock Racing Series, uh, there's a guy, I think his name's Dan Larson, on, uh, Mad Ram 11, they've showcased his vehicle, he's got a Toyota something that's been built up to a cage truggy and this thing just reminds me of that so much the whole truck does except this obviously being a blazer body anyways let's take this body off and i'll get a better look at the other thing that i did to it real quick which is i put some proline power stroke scale shocks on it uh no they don't dampen quite as well as you know the pro specs or the power stroke, you know, full size ones, but I love how they look with these AR44 axles. Uh, I get the clearance that I need with the other ones. They rub, the springs tend to rotate a lot, and this just looks, it looks real scale. I like watching the truck when I'm out on the trail and the axles be bouncing up and stuff like that, and the truck's just staying stable. Real cool. Anyways, um, that's enough talking about that. I don't see anything else other than I got a new steering servo. Um, had to space it back with these little spacers that I got at the store because I got home with it and realized that if I didn't, I wouldn't clear the gap in between the chassis and I would be hitting, contacting the top of the servo right back here, so... Other than that, uh, yeah, the wheels are my RC four-wheel drives, which I had on that. I took them off, put them on this, 
Uh, got some STRC knuckles, which are freaking awesome. And other than that, that's it. Truck's doing great. Really enjoying it. Now on to this. Uh, this thing has had the biggest transformation. Do a little kind of walk around, look at it for you. See if you guys like it or not. I'm liking it a ton. Let's turn on some more light. I'll turn it real quick for you. Ooh, something's different. Let's get to it. Well, uh, we'll start from what's touching the ground. Uh, I have three sets of tires sitting here that I'm running for it. These are just some boggers, 1-9 boggers, with plastic wheels because of the metal axles, obviously, and the big powerhouse when I'm running around on rock or real bumpy terrain. I like to have a lot of give in the tire and the wheel. That way that's not being transferred into these expensive-ass axles. I don't want to bend or break an axle, and I know I can do it. Uh, I've got another pair. I put these on plastic. I need to get some uh, foams in this, though. These have foams, but they're just such a sturdy-ass tire anyways that they tend to hold up to pretty good to weight. So... Once I get these, these will be more of a trailing, like if I go out trailing and want to do some light crawling, I'll get a little more grip on the rocks with these. Um, and my dedicated crawling tire slash trailing tire, I just got to take it a little bit easier on the tumbling down the big hills, which I like to do because I got a metal wheel. So um, I know people may say, oh, you're... You're silly, whatever, you know, you're, you're not going to break anything. But I've snapped a Vanquish Titanium Link bouncing down hills, and I really like climbing hills, and that's kind of what this, this truck is based around is loose dirt hill climbs with rock mixed in, kind of like, you know, Southern Rock Racing Series. It's, it's just a lot of fun. Or U4 Racing, but there's not a lot of that around here. And if it was, it would be more of a, a woodland U4 racing more than a desert U4, but anyways, let's go on. Uh, I put Pro Specs on the front and the rear, which I already had, and ooh, I changed the rear. The rear is no longer four linked. I went ahead and lengthened the top links a little bit to make way for these Banquish. Twin hammer or Batera twin hammer trailing arms, so I could shorten it. Up. Actually, it lengthened it a tiny bit in the rear from what it was before, uh, with just the four link setup, but um, only slightly. So the front links stayed the same; didn't change that at all. But hold on one second. Okay, but I took this out. This is what has changed about this other than the trailing arms and the shocks and the wheels and tires as you can see here these are SCX 10 width tubes which I'll give probably the first visual comparison I've seen on YouTube of the difference so if that was inserted it would be about there there's the end of the tube for an SCX 10 width and then there's the end of the tube for the XR10 width. So it adds about three eighths of an inch on each side, I would say, uh, for both sides. So I bought some, obviously. I went ahead and ordered the XR10 width for the front and rear. I got the Vanquish axle shafts in the rear. Um, figured it might as well. Uh, Vanquish does not make universals, however, and I was not willing to buy a Vanquish CVD because I I've never blown up a CVD, but personally, I just per prefer universals. I mean, they're on full size, and Axel got it right by making them the first go time around. So I went ahead and ordered those shafts. I already had the knuckles and the hubs, which are the clampy Vanquish hubs. I already had them off a XR narrow XR axle mod that I did 
for my old SCX-10, which I don't run anymore. But, yeah, guys, other than that, uh, having a lot of fun with my rigs right now. Um, I've got one more surprise for you guys for this one. Um, hopefully it'll happen sooner than later, but, uh, you know, all good things in time, regardless if it doesn't happen now, um, uh, not a big deal because the truck is freaking awesome as it is. Just what I want to do to it is really just, you know, we all have our little dream rigs, right? So, and this thing is doing great. It doesn't have a servo in it right now because I don't have money to buy another servo. Uh, I've got actually an SCX-10 II down there. I've got the body. But uh, that thing needs some axles underneath it because obviously I robbed those for this truck. And I don't regret doing it. But I'd like to get that SCX-10 back together so I could do some more 1.9 comping. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I really appreciate uh, the new subscribers. Um, I think two months ago I had like two or three subscribers, and now I have like 17 or something. I know it's not much, but hey, a couple of you guys are watching my videos and apparently enjoying them. So, uh, like I said, appreciate it, guys. Uh, have a good day, and hope you enjoyed. Later.